is that we have such a selective and a narrow reading of history. You know, President Zelensky may be Jewish, but he's not the only one in this who suffered during the Second World War, whose ancestors suffered, right? I mean, look at Putin. How many relatives did he lose in the siege of St. Petersburg? People don't know their history. They don't know what made Vladimir Putin. And I'm not a defend, you know, I'm not defending him. I don't need to defend Vladimir Putin. My job as a journalist is to try to understand what is the truth here. I don't like being lied to. And we're being mm -hmm. lied to on an epic scale. When we're told your only choice is you have to be 100% with Zelensky, who's a puppet, who you can find on the internet in black stilettos and leather pants, you know, with shirtless, doing a spoof, dancing with the stars kind of entertainment video. That's a mock of a Ukrainian group that does this kind of satanic occult type of uh, music video. And I mean, Zelensky was selected, like so many of our leaders. And honestly, with, with big tech, and with election fraud these days, we don't know how many leaders all around the world have been yeah. selected for us and weren't actually voted in. But what we do know is that there are increasing problems with technology and the digitization of our world. Because we, look at what's happening with COVID. Look at what has happened globally. We are fighting the same battles all over the world. To pretend that this war is about Russia and Ukraine is a just a barefaced lie. Yeah. If Putin has been warning for 15 years that he is not going to stand by while the globalists take over the world, build bioweapons facilities and whatever else they're doing in Ukraine, Ukrainian yeah. oligarchs. Ukraine has been a center of money laundering for you know many of the leaders in this country for how long? Billions of U.S. dollars have been laundered through Ukraine, and we say nothing about it. These are our tax dollars. I mean, before the impeachment trial, had you ever heard of anyone in the United States, I mean, us bringing in foreign governments to the White House for anti-corruption right. training. I mean, does nobody question these things? Why do we not question them? We have an well, idiot uh, like Lieutenant Colonel Vindman hmm. who goes at the impeachment trial and sits there as a lieutenant colonel. He didn't even make colonel. And he's telling the president of the United States what his policy should be. You have a traitor in the form of Maria Yovanovitch, who was Obama's ambassador, who's telling Ukrainian mm -hmm. government officials, don't listen to the will of the American people. Don't listen to well, the election results. We are the true leaders of America. I mean, and then people object when the woman isn't even fired. She's given a cushy job for life at Georgetown University at the expense of the U.S. taxpayer. And we're told that the president of the United States cannot say to his foreign counterparts, you know, that we want yeah. you to look into something. But Joe Biden he can it. withhold as much aid as he wants to. I mean, right. there's so much hypocrisy and dishonesty here. And Ukraine is well, at the center of it all. Go back to Russia collusion. Go to Alexandra Trilupa. Go to Eric Caramella, the, the whistleblower who went to work for Adam Schiff, who wasn't really a whistleblower. Right. And all those corrupt people in the deep state. And you know what? The deep state isn't a theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's an actual deep state. Look up the SES, the Senior Executive Service, because when that bureaucracy was ushered into law in the United States right. of America, that's when we got a bunch of unelected bureaucrats well, pulling the strings behind the scenes. And these Laura, are the people that keep lying to us. Absolutely. And pardon me, we've got a, a live chat where we're streaming on Getter, for example, and I'm watching it as you're talking. People are talking about how you're dropping truth bombs and you're a real journalist. And I know that having worked alongside you for many, many years when you're at CBS and many